Hi everyone, today is February 6, 2018 and we are in my makeshift plant nursery. Uh, this is my bottom floor room and it is right next to this really big sliding door here. So it gets a lot of sunlight and I can open the glass, leave the screen shut and let the fresh air come on in. So a lot of you know that I've been trying to propagate my tea leaf plants and you can see that all behind me. I think I have 40 plus pots here. I've been taking the tea leaves and um, cutting the canes and having them propagate and you can see that here. I don't know if you can see the little shoots. So they're doing great. I started this back in November, the end of November. So it's been going on for about a two and a half months. But the problem that I've had is the soil is very damp because I need to keep these well watered and I have a new pest that has entered my home and they're kind of taking over. It's this little guy. Do you recognize that? That is a fungus gnat. And you can see I have more here. If you take a look, I can kind of zoom in on them. They're being caught on this glue trap. I have more here, the fungus gnats. So they're flying all over the place. From everything I've read, they're more of a nuisance than anything else, but they are a nuisance, so I need to get rid of them. <laughs> you can see my little helpers. I got my mom here. Hi. And this is my other little helper, Johnny. He's getting into my plan, so he needs to be removed from the table, please, mom. Anyway, um, what's going on is these fungus gnats are flying around the adults, but they lay their larva or the eggs in the damp soil is what I've learned. So we need to kill the larva in the soil and we need to get the adults. So I went to the store, uh, the home and garden store, and they sold me these. They're like, oh, those are fruit flies. So I put these out and there's a vinegar type solution in here. Nothing went in the little apple. So I went back to the store and I took my little creature and I'm like, what is this? And the lady said, that is a fungus gnat. So I did do a lot of research online and I had the same conclusion. So she gave me this product here. It's called Thuricide. It's got BT in it. And BT is that long word. I don't want to butcher the name. But this is supposed to be really good to kill the gnats and the larva. So I have mixed a solution, it's a concentrate, and I've mixed a big solution here. It's just a little of it to a gallon of water. And then you pour it in the soil and it kills the larva egg. So what I've done is I've made a little mixture. I keep filling it up. And then every day I just come in and I've been spraying the soil to try to get all of those larva eggs to go to Aloha Land, go bye bye In the meantime, all those guys flying around, the adults, how do I get rid of those? So I found these cool things online, ordered them on Amazon, they were like $5.98. I got seven sticks and seven traps. The sticks look like this, and you can easily put the little glue traps on them, on those two little prongs. So you can see an example of that right here and they're pretty awesome I've had these in now for two days and they're all working hard catching the gnats but there's still plenty of gnats around so I will just keep at this and try to get rid of them um, another thing I did is I bought on Amazon a pack of these I got 20 of these and these are huge they're a lot bigger than the traps that I got online in that one packet of seven. So you can see, let me hold it up to it so you can see the difference in size. So this is a really big sheet of paper, 20 of them. So what I've been doing is I've been cutting these sheets into smaller sizes and these have sticky on both sides. So I've been cutting them into smaller sizes and then I can put them in the traps. That helps you save a little bit of money. Um, so hopefully I'll be getting rid of these gnats really soon. I will just keep spraying away. And hopefully I can start planting more plants. I just don't want to take on any more projects until I can get this gnat problem under control. 
So wish me luck again. You need to get the sticky traps to catch the adults. And then the BT, which helps to get the larva, which is laid in the soil. So that is really important. Hopefully I can come back, eradicate all of this, and we can go on to our next project. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.